Hi, Mario. Welcome to the mysterious Great Kiskala located in Turkmenistan. This region of the world, also called Central Asia, is a somewhat forgotten area. This huge area, about half the size of the US, houses many mysterious ancient structures that are barely examined or excavated. Many structures are probably still buried underneath layers of packed, dense soil waiting to be discovered. LiDAR scans in the future will definitely reveal many hidden structures. One of these mysterious structures is the Great Kiskala. Most of the excavations on and around Kiskala are done only recently. Still, very little is known about the structure. It is said that it was built by Sultan Kala. However, we have heard these stories before. Later settlers, like the Sasanians, found these ruins and renovated the structures on top of older foundations. This practice has taken place all over the world, by the Romans, the Greeks, the Incas, the Sumerians and so on. What many people don't know is that stone structures cannot be dated other than our probabilistic method that we have developed. Organizations like SciArc have made rough digital reconstructions of many sites around the world. They also made one of the great Kiskala. You see here one of their digital models. It is great that these digital reconstructions are made because sometimes they reveal multiple layers of renovations. Multiple layers suggest that multiple cultures renovated a structure on top of each other. The Great Kiskala does not reveal its secrets easily. That is why we have applied our probabilistic method to the Great Kiskala. Our method consists of mainly two analytic layers. The first layer is the pole it is oriented to. From that we can calculate the probability that this is a coincidental match. The second layer is to back-engineer the original situation at that time. There is another geographic pole, another cardinal system and so another latitude. In many cases does that also mean another climate. The latter, another climate, explains why, for example, very large populations settled successfully in inhospitable climates like that of the Amazon. The fact is they did not live at the same latitude at that time because the cross has shifted afterwards. That is why archaeologists are speculating how large ancient populations of tens of millions of people packed on an area of the size of Mexico City could live and thrive. That is because these cultures lived on another latitude and so in a more habitable climate. And secondly, the advanced sewer systems are built so long ago, hundreds of thousands of years, that they are not yet discovered. Back to our second analytic layer, one of our most powerful tools is reconstructing the solstices because every latitude has its own typical solstice angles, which we can calculate. What is the case? In many structures we find the original solstice angles. It was their way to measure the seasons. This second analytic layer gives us together with the first one a high probability that our analysis is correct. We express our findings in a probability that our claims are correct. How old is the great Kiskala really? And how did we back-engineer these situations? When we look at the great Kiskala, it is oriented to pole 4. 
Paul IV is between 240,000 and 270,000 years old. It might be so that the Great Kiskala is originally this old as Paul IV, but we have to gather more proof, because the probability for this claim is not spectacular, around 80%. This is our first analytic layer that I talked about early in this video. It delivers 80% proof. That is why we have back-engineered the second analytic layer, original sources during Pole 4 or any other poll that matters. What many people don't know is that the solstice angle changes with latitude. For example, at a latitude of 0 degrees, the solstice angles are 23.5 degrees. That is exactly the same angle as the tilt angle of the Earth. At a latitude of around 66 degrees, the solstice angle is very large, around 90 degrees. So when we look at the Great Kiskala, it points to Pole 4. We then have to look at which latitude the Great Kiskala would have been if it truly was built during Pole 4. The Pole 4 latitude of Great Kiskala was around 25.9 degrees. Today this is 37.7 degrees. And that is a significant difference. You see here a simple animation as to what happens with the solstice angles when the Great Kiskala shifts in latitude. There is quite a large range in possibilities. However, the solstice angles of pole 4 exactly fits in the foundation of this structure. The probability for this dual fit orientation and sources angles to be a coincidental one is low, around 0.8%. That is why we can claim with a probability of 99.2% that the Great Kiskala was originally first built during Pole 4. This is how our method works, simple and powerful. We now know with a scientific scientific certainty of over 99% that the Great Kiskala is not what it is believed to be. It is renovated probably many times during our ancient history. The last time it was done was by some arbitrary dictator. Because the foundations and its proportions remain unchanged, it reveals its secrets to us. This is probably one of the countless remnants that can be found in this area when the area would be scanned with LiDAR. Thank you for your attention, my dear patron, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye bye!